everyone, my name is Radhika Chalia. I'm a legal recruiter with Beacon Hills Philadelphia office. I hope you are all keeping safe and that you are all remaining healthy. Um, you know, a big part of that health does include our sanity. Something I feel like we tend to not prioritize, especially when we get really busy and we get really overwhelmed. Um, you know, the ability to work from home like many of us are doing right now certainly does afford us a number of benefits flexibility being one of the biggest um, but sometimes that flexibility can lead to some increased pressures like feeling like you might need to overcompensate by being online for more hours than you normally would or forgetting to get something done because there's so much on your plate with work and outside of work um, or just the simple act of like forgetting to eat lunch you know it's really easy to get overwhelmed whether you're home alone whether you have roommates or if you're like me with two little kiddos and a spouse who's also working from home full time. And to add to that, I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel like I'm stuck in Groundhog Day in the movie, you know, doing the same thing over and over again, repeatedly, day in and day out, week after week. So today I wanted to, you know, talk to you about a few quick tips that I personally have found to be really helpful in striking that right balance in your workday and breaking up the monotony in your days and in your weeks, all while still remaining productive. Tip number one, maintain some kind of routine. You know, when we're working remotely, try and focus on ways in which you can stick to some kind of routine. It's certainly gonna differ from what you're used to, what you used to do, um, but you know, getting a sense of that daily go, that daily familiarity can really get you started for your day and set yourself up for a productive morning. Try to get up around the same time if you can. Do all the things that you would have normally done to get ready for work. Mimic that in the morning. You know, without a commute, take advantage of some of that extra time that you may have in the mornings right now. If you're used to work out in the morning, try to get a little exercise in. If you are like me and you just could never get going without that morning cup of coffee, make it at home, sit down and drink it before you sit down for work. Also get out of those pajamas. I know it may sound silly since you're not going anywhere most of the time, but oftentimes I think getting dressed, getting ready, even halfway, even a little bit, um, can certainly be a good mood booster and can help you to increase that progress productivity. Given all the factors that have in fact changed, you know, maintaining some of your habits can make the transition that we're kind of going through right now a little bit less stressful. Number two, structure your day. So to the extent possible, try and keep your usual office hours and also create and create a schedule or a plan the night before. Uh, you know, in, in a day full of distractions, creating a task list the night before, the day before, can really be helpful to make sure you're remaining productive. You know, I think it'll be in, it's particularly helpful to do this when you know you're gonna have things added to your plate throughout the day. You know, what do you need to prioritize? What is the closest deadline? What goals do you want to accomplish by the end of the day? Um, and equally, or if not more importantly, what are you gonna start on when you first sit down? Um, you know, I recently read an article that stated most people are uh, people are the most productive for the first two hours after being awake. So take that time to tackle the most important things on your list already, as opposed to sitting down at your desk and then trying to figure it out. Um, having that list can certainly help you get to be more productive in the morning. Number three. workspace if you can. Um, you know, most people right now are working on laptops these days in general, and even more so now that we're all remote. So it's a little bit easier to be a little bit more mobile without having to worry about cords and screens and whatnot. If you can, you know, take your laptop to a different workstation if you can to get a change of scenery. I personally like to work outside uh, if I can, if the weather permits, or at least take a couple calls here and there outside. That vitamin D for me personally really helps boost my mood. Number four, take a real break. And by a, by a real break, I mean a real break. Well, working remotely certainly does have its perks that we all, you know, can certainly appreciate, um, you know, the monotony of each day 
and the lack of that social interaction that you usually have with coworkers can sometimes make your day boring and sometimes make it lonely because we don't have those peers around us like we normally would. Take breaks, go for a walk, make and eat your lunch away from your computer so you're not tempted to answer emails while you're eating. Um, if you have personal tasks to take care of, or if you just want to relax, if you want to take a half hour to read a book, you know, like you normally would at night, try to do your personal tasks. Try to do all of that during your workday breaks instead of running around and, and doing them later, just like you normally would if you were in an office setting. Um, take some social calls, you know, talking with friends, talking with coworkers about non-work related things can certainly help break up the monotony in your day. Taking breaks is a really great way to help you recharge for that next part of your day. And also, you know, along the same veins, give yourself a break. Thank you so much for watching this video and for any of the other videos that you have seen. You know, uh, we here at Beacon Hill have had some really, really excellent feedback so far and we want to continue to be there for you during this time. If there is anything you'd like us to discuss in particular, if you have any specific questions or if you just want to chat, feel free to connect with me here on LinkedIn or any of my colleagues. Drop a comment here, contact me directly via email or phone. My contact information I think is above. Um, and yeah, I look forward to connecting with some of you in the future.